You're still live on Breakfast Daily and we are still in the month of October and so we are still talking breast cancer. Now I've been joined by some beautiful ladies here and we are going to have a breast cancer conversation. You know, when it comes to breast cancer, we speak well to the topic. Um, so I have Joanna Oday. Who is Joanna? I am. Oh, Auntie J. Right, so <laughs> Joanna is the Principal Nursing Officer, Public Health Nurse, Wakaiqui Municipal Health Directorate. Welcome. Thank you. Great. And I also have Nadia Tijani Larry. She is a family health practitioner, USA. Who is Nadia? Yes. Oh, Nadia, welcome. Thank you. I like your scarf. It's <laughs> Thank beautiful. You. Right. And so, obviously, you are Yvonne. Yeah. Right. So, Yvonne Jazzel, right? Mm -hmm. You're right. Great. Is an advocate for breast cancer. So, Yvonne, I'll start with you. Okay. How, how is, you know, the advocacy going? Are we now beginning to pay attention to our breasts? Yeah, I think so, and I'm planning on to go to the rural areas mm. because I feel um, they need to be enlightened, they need to be educated mm. in about the awareness of breast cancer. Mm. And you know, it breaks my heart to hear about an 18 year old girl suffering from breast cancer. Wow. Yeah, in 18. Volta region. Oh, that's yeah. so sad, eh? That's so yeah. sad. And so, I think what I'm going to do is get my team together and we'll go to all those rural areas and then make the campaign about breast super, cancer. Super, super, super. God bless you for that. Thank no, you. So, so we are talking about um, the ABCs of breast cancer. So ABCs, what is the A? What is the B and the C? <laughs> yeah, Jonas, so let's hear you. Um, ABCs. So we um, threw out my talking. Mm -hmm. We are going to know what um, breast cancer is okay the risk factors mm. and then um it's preventive measures so the basics all. yes the right? basics great, of great 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 breast cancer. but but so so let's start you know uh, when we talk of breast cancer you hear a lot of words you know mastectomy mammogram this this <laughs> it's that, that those things even sound so huge you oh, know yeah, yeah, but yeah, yeah but I'm, I'm sure they are not supposed to and we have a whole lot of bits that come with breast cancer mm -hmm. you know people talk about all kinds of things you know so let's start so if you're going to have a conversation about breast cancer with somebody what would be the first thing you tell them it is treatable okay. and then um not all breast cancer kills right there's mm -hmm. like a high survival rate since awareness came about and mm. since um, the mammography, the screenings, since those things were put in place, um, survival rates has been very, very high. Mm. Um, the most important thing is education. People don't understand that knowledge is power, right? Mm. The more you know, the better you are in, um, just in, in the old, and like the better you know, the better um, prepared you are, you know, yeah. you know what yeah. I mean? So, yeah. Yeah. Mm. So, so you mentioned mammography. Right. That's like a big word. What's, what's mammogram? What's it just, mammography? It's just a tool, right? Yeah. The gold standard for detecting breast cancer is through mm. mammography. Mm. Um, back then, they used to say self-breast examination. But if you're not familiar with that, you wouldn't know what to look for, right? Mm. So we say, especially in the month of October, go for the pre-screening. It's a low um, radiation scan yeah. that scans the tissue of the breast and looks for lumps, anything that looks mm. abnormal. Mm. You know, Jonna, a lot of the information we get on breast cancer, you know, um, very little is known about what happens in Ghana. We have very little statistics on that. Yeah. Everything is in the U.S., in other areas. That's what we do. Now, you are in that space here in Ghana. Mm -hmm. When people come, Generally, what are the risk factors, you know, what leads to um, why they have breast cancer? Have you been able to establish something? Oh, yes. So for risk, can, uh, risk, uh, risk factor for um, breast cancer, yeah. we're talking about age. The fact that you are aging, mm. you can get it. Okay. The fact that you come from a family with a history mm. of breast cancer, you can. The fact that um, you had your menses early. Yeah, we are talking about 11 years. Okay. Or you had your menopause late. Or you had your menopause late can also predispose you to breast cancer. Oh, really? And then our lifestyle, taking alcohol. Some people have taken it upon themselves that daily one bottle is okay, mm. so they will chill it in the fridge. Research has proven that when you take one to two bottles a day, you are at risk of getting breast cancer. Ooh. And it's not so for we, women alone. We Men can also suffer from breast cancer. Yeah. One percent. Mm. So you know, but, but sometimes you hear that, oh, a bit of wine is good for your heart, a bit of that, you know, what can we take? What can we consume? So we are saying that within a week, you should be able to take three bottles. Three to four is okay. Mm. That mm. is it. Mm. But don't take it upon yourself, taking one, two bottles a day. 
okay. will be at risk of right, right, risk right. Of. That's some good advice coming in there. But but um, Yvonne, are people going for the screening? Yeah. Really? Yeah, it's so surprising. Um, people know about breast cancer. You know, there has always been a myth about breast cancer mm -hmm. that when you face have it, probably you have been enriched bewitched yeah. or it's a spiritual thing but you know we are going out to do the awarenesses have created a good impact on people and people are receiving the message in good faith great yeah great great you know so so for us here um, nadia we as i mean look at it from all angles you know so <laughs> like like everyone <laughs> just said if you get breast cancer somebody has cursed you you know and i think in some areas the education is pretty low you know do you do you get all these kind of things too in the states i mean of course because remember the state is full of immigrants all right they yeah. come from all parts of the world so the uh, knowledge deficit is there right mm. um a lot of clinics do screenings and health forums where they do educate the public. Um, people have this myth thinking um, if you're poor, you get breast cancer. The thing with breast cancer is it doesn't discriminate, right? Mm -hmm. So you could have the, the most money in the world. If you are going to get it, you are going to get it. You could be very active. Like, so I know a man who has never drank, smoked, or even eat ate meat mm -hmm. he's he's like constantly working out five times a week and he did get breast cancer yes. so the thing is it could happen to anybody mm -hmm. regardless so where you come from your race your background mm -hmm. and one of the risk factors also the BRCA gene BRCA gene okay. it's just a mutation it could happen to any one of us right wow. you could have screening this year and be normal and the next year throughout the 12 months there was some type of mutation in your body that could cause the gene for to happen yeah mm. but how would I know I'm getting breast cancer Okay, so you never know. It has no symptoms. Okay, right? so I'll let her continue. Yeah, so, so let, let. Okay, so there's no no cause for breast cancer, mm -hmm. but then there are some signs and symptoms that, as a woman, once okay. you have breast sitting on your chest, mm -hmm. you should be able to be looking out for. Like what? So, for example, um, we are saying that um, as a female, mm -hmm. every month after your menses, stand in the mirror or lie down and then examine your breast, touch it. You are touching it to look for lumps. Lumps okay. that are cancerous, they are movable. And then also look at the color of your breast, whether there's a change. Okay. You all agree with me that our breast, one is bigger than the other. Yeah. So we are saying that if it's cancerous or if there's a disease in there, you realize that it shrinks or it becomes smaller. Mm. The color changes. Mm -hmm. It becomes like a peel of an orange. Okay. You realize that your nipple is dimpling in, going in there. Instead of coming out, it's okay. going in. When you press the breast, the milk that comes out is offensive or the color is not bad, is good, is bad. Mm. And then also it is bloody. They are all mm. signs that shows that you have the wow. disease. Wow. So but you know that, I mean, there's some kind of fear, you know, that comes with it. And I think that that is what makes people not wanting to go forward, you know, to the hospitals and all that. Because okay. sometimes you don't want your fears to be confirmed. Of course. Yes. How do we handle this, you know, so, that fear aspect? I want to put out there that even though you may see the symptoms, they're not always cancerous, right? Okay. You could feel a lump in your breast and it could be benign, meaning it's nothing. Okay. The thing is you have Why is nothing? Why is it there? Why should I block Our body in? changes. Okay. Especially we have hormones, right? Mm -hmm. When you age some some parts of your body hardens, some things get lighter, like your skin gets thinner. Um, your fat, you get more fat. Mm -hmm. Our body changes, especially as women, because we're full of hormones, right? So just because you might see certain things does not mean you have it. Mm. Be confident enough to go see a specialist and have them tell you you do have it or you don't. The most important thing is this treatment. The earlier you go, the better for you. Okay. Right? I know us, especially Africans, we're big on herbal medicines. Mm -hmm. Please leave that as your last resort. Mm. If you suspect anything, the best thing to do is to have it checked out. So I go to the hospital, my fears are confirmed, you know. What is um, um, the extreme thing that can happen? Um, worst case scenario is um, at the time that it was detected, it has gotten to a stage that we might have to cut the whole breast out, off, or it's untreatable. Hmm. That's why we recommend educate that don't wait so you have lumps, right? Mm -hmm. Each year around October, there's free screening. The word free, me, I love free. Take advantage of it. Free screening. Go and just have that breast checked out. You never know. Mm -hmm. The earlier detected breasts found, the better the survival rate. Mm -hmm. Best option for you, screening. 
Wow. So, you, I mean, I'm sure you've come across people who have had their breasts taken off and all that, you know. Oh, yeah. How, how so, I mean, how will I be after that? Oh, you know, you'll be a normal self. They accept it. We take them through stages. Okay. Stages of counseling. So you will know, we'll even, even throughout the uh, counseling, we'll show you to somebody who has survived it, mm -hmm. who has had it, and all that. You, you go through all those processes, so you will accept it. Well, Yvonne, have you... And there are prosthesis. Yeah. Okay. So you can hip it and sit down here, and no one will know that your breast is off. Interesting. Right, so have you come across, you know, uh, people who have had their breasts removed and how they dealt with it? Yeah, I met a woman, She's she'll be around 60s, mm -hmm. and she have it removed, I mean, both breasts. And and how was she like? She's okay. I lost a friend from breast cancer. Yeah. So I took this upon myself to, you know, to go out to mm. educate. Mm. Because, you know, I believe if you see the early symptoms, mm -hmm. we could save life. Yeah. Instead of you being at home and doing self medication, mm, mm, yeah. Mm. So I mean, it's cool. I also had a friend um, who found out that she had breast cancer. She had total mastectomy, meaning both breasts were taken mm -hmm. out. Um, how does she feel? She's happy. She's alive, right? Yeah. These yeah. things are not. Um, we grew up with it, so it's, it's a part of us, right? But losing your breast is not the biggest thing. Lose your life is what we're trying to prevent, you know what I mean? After all, I mean, now we know that if your breast is taken off completely, I mean, that's the extreme thing that can happen, you know? It's not like you're going to die or anything. Right. But yeah. there are also ways that you can boost your confidence Cosmetics. when you're going mm -hmm. out, you know, is the prosthesis, right? Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. yeah, you put it on and you are fine. So. But you have the prosthesis so that if we, we see it, we know what we're dealing with. You don't? No, we I don't. don't. Okay. okay. All right. But I think we're going to have some kind of demonstration sure, and sure. stuff like that we're to check to how to find a lamb. Yeah. Let's go and find it. Sure. <laughs> After you. All right. So we'll be right back. Sure. I'm going to look for the lambs, you know. <laughs> right. So, um, okay. Um, so, you, what do you say? I'll, I'll sit here. Sure. Yeah. So, what I do is this. Mm -hmm. Um, you are free, my wife. Yes, free. Yeah. So try put your hands to your fingers, okay. trying to find something. How do you feel? How do you feel? Wow. Try picking something out from the jellies. Okay, I saw um, a big one there. Let me have a look. This. Oh, is it hard? Yes, yeah, hard. From the gel. Yes. So you found a lamb. Oh, just like that? Yeah. I want to do it again. It's just, it feels <laughs> nice. Okay, so, so, so if you are trying to look yeah. for it, that's how you're going to self screen. Okay, so this is not difficult to do at all. No, not difficult. So why are we not doing it? I think lack of education, lack of awareness. Uh huh. Yeah, some people are a bit afraid to do it, and I think probably it's because we don't have good. I wouldn't say good, uh, a step to take the patient on, mm. like when you go for screening. Because we need a now. psychologist, yeah. you know, to talk to the patient. Mm. And sometimes mm. when you get the news, the blow. Yeah, yeah, because it can be very frightening. Yeah. You know? And I also think that, you know, trying to do this, mm -hmm. in fact, I must admit that I didn't even know that it was <laughs> this easy, maybe because I've not come across any, you know, yeah. so you wouldn't know. But I you know your breast is not... Have, I mean, your breast has tissues and mm -hmm, all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. So the breast naturally is not smooth. Or yeah. There are, when you touch a breast, you feel tissues, tissues and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. maybe people don't also know what they're even looking for and how what they're looking for should feel like. Yeah. So, so um, once again, take us through, you know, how would I know that this is a lamp? Is it that obvious or do I have to be looking out for certain things? You know, sometimes um, looking for the lamp, mm -hmm. Um, after menstruation, just as Auntie Joan stated, you have to check because they are, our breast is full of lamps yeah. in a way, good ones. And so when you check it and it's movable, you mm -hmm. know, and all, it's not all lamps that are conscious. Okay. So you could just go for early checkup to mm. see if it's a mm. lamp or a regular lamp. Okay, so is it possible that you can have breast cancer without seeing a lamp? Yeah, it's so true. Okay. You can have uh, breast cancer without even having symptoms, without knowing. 
Then it means and that so, when you know that you are going to, I mean, you are the last stage, or? Not really. But you know, you feel, my bad, but you feel mm -hmm. some discomfort in your VG. Sometimes, those without symptoms on the boobs. No way. Yes, way. Right, so now, you know, it, it's traveled from breast to other areas and so i think that as a woman as a guy you mm -hmm. generally have to know your body and yes. you generally have to pay particular attention to, to the every body. part of your body because it could start from anywhere yeah right yeah interesting right thank you very much this is fantastic education but trust me it's not difficult to find a lamp at all i mean if this is what it takes i mean just to know it's that simple you will feel it you will know that there's something else there thank you very much yvonne thank you very much nadia and thank you very much Jana, for this education I have been very much educated, and I'm sure that those um, watching us have also been well educated. This is Breakfast Daily. We'll be right back.